But we have just found what looks like the old canal. Ah. Today, I am trying to find the route of the Stroud Water Navigation. It was a canal that was made a couple hundred years ago and it started at the River Severn, which is over there. And it sort of wiggled around a bit all the way to Stroud and then from Stroud it goes all the way to the River Thames. So it's a fantastic canal, if you can find it. Trouble is, it was allowed to fall into decay and ruin. The other day I walked from the River Severn to here and we found there are bits of the canal that are derelict. They're still in water, they're full of reeds and trees, but they're still just about visible. At times the canal disappears and at times the canal is there. What you may have noticed today is that I'm not by a canal at all. I'm by the river. Really nice river, the River Froome, which is looking really smooth and lovely. But it's not the canal. I have no idea where the canal is. It should be over there, I think, but we couldn't find it. But what I can find is that roundabout there. If you see it, there are some blokes in sort of high-vis jackets and there's some lorries. What's happened there is they have built a brand new section of canal. And so in the future, that will join up to the bits we found in the last film where it's all derelict and overgrown. And at some point, they're gonna redig from that brand new bit over there, they're gonna redig a bit of the canal to the M5. But for the moment, I have no idea where that is. Although, although, after my last film, a guy called Martin got in touch who, who knows all about the Stroudwater navigation, and he did tell me where I could find it, but sadly, <laughs> I forgot to bring the instructions and I can't remember what he said. But the main thing is, it's over there somewhere, but for the moment, it's gonna follow the river till we get to the M5. So come on, let's go. I'm standing on almost exactly the same spot as I was a few days ago. Then it was gray, it was dark, and it was the end of the day, and I just wanted to get home and I wasn't really enjoying it. Now, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful morning. Same place, what a difference a day makes. What a difference a sunny day makes. Wow. The road behind me is the M5. It's a motorway. There's about six or eight lanes of traffic. It's really busy and throbbing, as you can hear. But the river goes underneath it. So the river goes under the motorway and there's a little tunnel next to it, which I was told by Martin online, who saw our last film, he said this tunnel was built for cattle. So we're about to go through the cattle tunnel. But in the future, when they rebuild the canal and bring it all back to life, Apparently boats are just going to use the river because I, I think this is why it's called Stroud Water Navigation. It's not called Stroud Canal, it's called Stroud Water Navigation and I think the clue is in the name. I think a lot of the time or some of the time they use this river. They just use the water, they didn't bother digging, digging a canal and I believe that's what they're going to do when they get the canal up and working again. They're going to use this section of river to go under the motorway which would be awesome. So, but I might be wrong. But that's what I think they're going to do. So uh, I'm going to walk underneath it now. <laughs> it's very muddy and slippy. It's not very appetizing. Obviously the cows don't look after the tunnel very well. It's a bit muddy and yuck. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. I'm going into the muddy tunnel. The muddy yucky place. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> La me. Oh. 
I don't know about you, but I don't think there have been any cows in that tunnel for a long time. They make more mess than that. But there's something else I've noticed when you come out this side. The bridge, the motorway bridge, I think it's too low to allow boats to go underneath it. So I'm wondering if they're going to have to like sink the river down somehow to make the bridge high enough. So if, you, if you're watching and I know the answer, could you let me know? Are they going to somehow lower the river to get it under the bridge? OK, so the first mystery of the day is where has the canal gone? How can you lose a canal? Somehow we've lost the old canal. Second mystery of the day is in this field. There are tracks, a digger has obviously come this way and then disappeared into thin air. Because the tracks just stop in the middle of nowhere. We've come onto the motorway. We're following the path of the river, which is lovely and very good. But here's the problem. At some point, the canal, the old canal came off this river, or is going to come off this river when they rebuild it. And my, the bloke I, I was chatting to online, he said there's a buried lock. I think he said there's a buried lock and a bridge. So at some point, I've got to keep my eyes peeled for the remains of a lock and the remains of a bridge. So I don't know what happens if we miss that. Just have to turn around and go home again, I guess. I should pay more attention, shouldn't I? That's what I should do in the future. But I don't want to do research. So, I'm trapped. Anyway, let's see. The river's very nice, and if we don't find the old canal, the remains of the canal, that's fine. As so often happens when you're walking by the side of rivers or canals, what you notice is the church coming, and that shows you there's a village or a sign of life. And I've just seen, you can just see a church peeping out through the hedgerow over there. So that means we're coming to a village, so I think the canal must be here somewhere. I just, just wish I knew where. So we've just come to a sort of T-junction in the river. So where the main river goes past and another river joins. I don't think that's the canal. There's too much water coming out. And also I'm on the wrong side, so if it is the canal, <laughs> I'm stuck. Another bridge over the river. Another bridge that is not deep enough to allow boats to go underneath it. So I don't know what's going to happen. Although, there is a site notice here. It's a compulsory land purchase which means that basically the people who are doing the canal and bringing it back to life, they're obviously going to buy some of the land around here. Compulsory purchase of land, so... Hey, it's going to be very exciting. And one thing I did hear from my online informant, he said apparently the deadline for some of this work is 2023. I don't know how much, but so three years' time, some of it should be working. So hopefully I will still be alive by then, if we are all spared. And if I am, you must come and join me when we go for a walk along the no newly opened canal. That's the plan anyway, the three year plan. So obviously the river goes under the bridge and a road goes over the bridge. So I'm standing on quite a busy little road, but I can't see any signs to tell me where to go next. No clues. So I'm just going to go for a wander around searching for clues and hoping I don't get hit by any cars. Ah! Aha! Clue! There's a sign, public footpath sign, and a really cute, like, wrought iron gate thing. Anyway, you, come and have a look at it, you'll see how weird it is. It's very pleasant, but weird. Whoop! Ah. Yeah, I said it was cute. So, I've just come through a really cute style, and cleverly, I stopped to work out where we should go next and using Mike's phone with this lovely little app it tells me we are here but look with all these green paths they're all footpaths so we could be anywhere on here this is where we're actually standing now but look locks disused so we're going to go back onto the road and try and come up here to find their old disused locks and see if we can find where the canal actually goes it, does, it doesn't really tell you oh there no more locks disused that way so I reckon we're going to go walk along the road, along the path, and back up this way. 
This is why it takes hours to do these really short walks, because we get lost and we have to backtrack. But I don't mind, it's all good. There's a whole bunch of blokes working up ahead on the road and I know they're working on the canal around here, so maybe they're doing something to do with the old canal being brought back to life. Who knows, maybe they're not. I'll go and find out. We were just walking up the road. I was about to go and ask those blokes if they were working on the canal. They're not. It looks like they're working on water supply. But, and this is why it takes us so long to do these walks, we just saw a path that points up over here. And it just looks like a really nice path, so we're just going to wander along it and see what we can find. See? Happy accidents or foolish mistakes. I don't know what they are, but I like them all. Look at this. Isn't it lovely? Woof. Woof. <sighs> so here we are walking along a really, really quite attractive path, which Mike and I reckon is probably really old, like one of the, a drover's path or something. We just went past a house and there was a brand new, one of those robot lawn mowers you get. Really cute looking thing. It's really odd. Walking down an ancient path, seeing a brand new toy playing on the lawn. Fascinating stuff. Just seen this uh, robot lawnmower and I kept on walking. And we saw some deer in the field. But actually what drew my eye was the tree. You see there's a pretty tree, it's a really nice tree, and the leaves have fallen off and left the carpet leaves on the floor and the deer are running away. We're walking along the path, enjoying the view, we've just seen some deer and loveliness, and there's some houses over there. And Mike and I both said, oh, look at those houses. They look like they should be on a canal. So hopefully, I mean, Look a bit grand to be on a canal, but anyway, they look old enough to have been built at the same time as a canal, so we're going to keep on going and hope we find the canal next to the houses. Oh, wow! Honestly, as I said, I don't do research, I, I shun research, but we have just found what looks like the old canal, because there's some brickwork there that I'd say is definitely old enough to be canal brickwork. Oh, wow. This definitely is canal work. There's a beautiful little arch here and I can see where it stops just up there. So I'm just going to go and wander to that bit and then walk along and see what happens next. That way is Stroud and that way is where we've just been walking by the river. But obviously in the middle there's this, which is nothing really. It's better. Hang on. So the canal stops there. But we can see over there what looks like a canal bridge. But in the middle, there's just this tiny little stream. Which you couldn't use that as a canal. I mean, I've just remembered the guy I was chatting to online, he did say when they rebuild the canal and bring it back to life, they've got to build an aqueduct over a stream. So maybe this is where they're going to build the aqueduct. I have no idea. But either way, let's go and have a look. Because I said, it looks like there's an old canal bridge there. And if that is the bridge, I reckon this is where they're going to put an aqueduct from here to there. The old section of canal, the bit we just found, is about 60 feet that way. And just behind me, there is a canal bridge. But in the middle, there's nothing. I do, this is why I love it. I know I go on, but not doing research is brilliant because you stumble across stuff like this. I have to try and make sense of it. It's like trying to do a jigsaw where you can't see the picture. You're just doing it from the back. And so this, I, I don't know what this is. Can I walk on it or will I fall into the boggy mass? I don't know. But either way, there used to be a canal going from there under the bridge and now there isn't. But first, before we do anything else, I'm going to go and stand on the bridge and see what happens to the other side of it. Ah! I reckon this is definitely an old canal bridge because that definitely looks like the dried up remains of a canal. And on the other side, it's just like sort of brambles. So I reckon the, the canal must have gone over that way. And you can see the M5 again. I think we've made sense of it. There's the M5. This bit, this sort of hedgerow, is in fact where the canal used to be. This is the missing mile, the bit of canal that's just disappeared, been wiped off the face of the earth. Because of the M5, you can't build another tunnel under it, another bridge, that'd be too expensive. They're going to have to use the river, the one we just walked past. So they're going to have to take the canal that stops 100 feet that way. They're going to have to, like, I think they're going to have to make some locks to lower it down, get it onto the river, get it onto the motorway, and then get it back onto the canal again. See, I see, I like not knowing. I like having to try and work it out as I go along. And what I like even more is when someone watches the film and tells me the facts and where I've got it wrong and where I might have got it a bit right. Now we have finally found <laughs> the old derelict canal. We need to follow it until it turns into a less derelict canal or until it takes us somewhere interesting. 
talking of interesting. I think I've just seen some up there. I don't know what it is. Let's go and have a look. See what? It, see what? What is that? This is an old disused lock. And not just any old lock, it's the one we saw on the map earlier when we thought we were lost. It said disused lock, this is it. And by the look of it, there's another one about 200 feet away. I'm gonna go and have a look at that. By the way, we were right about those houses, they're just over there. They are the sort of houses you find by canals. Just beyond this bridge, there's another disused lock. But what caught my eye is that bridge, it's got a thing on it saying Pike Bridge, 2005. So they obviously built that in 2005, knowing that it would let the boats come back on the canal. Or at the time, obviously, they decided to make it that the canal could be used again. Someone's been working on this for a long time. And well done them, I say, well done. Hey! Do you know what? I love it when our plan comes together by accident. I just worked out where we are. The other day, Mike and I, we'd uh, been on another walk, made another film, which hopefully Mike can put a link to here, made another film about this stretch of canal. And we stopped here for falafels. And I just worked out where we are. We're right next to where the falafel place was. <laughs> Yippee! Right, let's go and see if we can find it. So um, we worked out where we are. Trouble is, the path we want to be on is the other side of the lock. So we have two choices. Either we go under the bridge, up the bridge, over the road and over there, or we sneak through, sneak through a place where it says, do not sneak through here. Ooh, choices, choices. I think you should turn the camera off, Mike. Don't tell them what we do. We've crossed over the disused lock, we've found the towpath, and most exciting of all, the canal is back. There's even a boat, slightly knackered boat, but there's a boat on the canal. And there's another lock just up there, which looks like it works. So I'm guessing, this bit of canal is in water and it works. And if we followed it along, we'd find this place called the ocean. But today, I'll be honest, the light is fading. We're running out of time. And there's a Starbucks just over there. I wouldn't normally race to a Starbucks, but today, I'll be honest, I'm peckish. I fancy a cup of coffee, so I shall leave this. We'll leave this next section for the next film. So don't forget to tune in next whenever and we'll find out what happens between this boat and the ocean. Oh, I really do find it quite exciting. It's like we've invented a whole new genre of ourselves, the mystery histories of canals. Where do they go? Water, 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 water! Anyway, coffee. I'm not sure I've ever been to a Starbucks voluntarily, actually. But you know what? Today is a very welcome sight.